Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Rob, with another late night break. And today we got a mail break here. Some things with trades, some things with eBay, and some things that I partly purchased and uh, also traded for. So uh, this is the big stack. I'm going to leave this right over here so I don't reveal too much of anything. Uh, this first one is from... Leo and Leo put Jordan. So that's a little bit of hint. Uh, these are pretty nice and I wanted to share a big mail day. It's, it's been a while since I've done a mail day. But let's get right into it. Okay. All right. Well, yes, yeah, you can see from the back what kind of card it was. Here we go. And all right, as you can see, this is the Jordan Alvarez. Bought it for about like 12 bucks. So uh not bad. Pretty cool. Actually, I'm going to put it probably right here. There's a lot more stuff coming. So I wanted to get that one. I'm trying to collect all the rookies. So Luis Robert and uh, Bo Bichette, Jordan Alvarez, and Gavin Lux. So we'll be seeing how much we have from there. My Bo Bichette is right over here. Uh, so this is from Tim. This is also an eBay purchase. It's got a little bit of damage here. Took a little bit of time to come because uh, I think he mailed it back to him on accident. So, uh, yeah. I won't really fault him for that. Uh, he might have got distracted by some of the conversation. So, here we go. All right. Okay, and... Uh, after I specifically told him not to put anything in it, uh, he does. So no feedback will be left for the people who uh, put packing slips on. Because I, I like to open my mail, you know, in person. And here is the card. It is a Kesson Hira. Pretty good condition, but these stadium clubs really deal with this lot of chipping or something like that too. So nice big space to sign. He signs a little bit. <laughs> this is actually my first Kesson heater. I did not uh, pull even a base out of 2020 stadium club. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I got one from Grand Slam here. Right, and we're not gonna have a slow review because it's just the card. <laughs> it's, whoops, it's gonna be a, a Corbin Burns auto. Uh, that's 16 out of 50. You guys can probably see right there. Uh, you're thinking like Corbin Bor Burns? He's like a pitcher and everything like that. Yes, uh, and actually he's born like right after I am too. Um, about 10 years and a day after I am. So that is cool. He's been really lights out this year. And I decided to pick up his auto for like maybe 15, 16 bucks. So that was cool. Uh, we're going to get in some break mail and some other stuff. This is from LSU Maniac or some people might call him Dustin Williamson. So let's see. He said he was... Uh, gonna put up something that I wanted to uh, like have because you know he knows my PCs and everything like that. So let's check it out. I also broke with uh, Bowman Chrome 2020 with him, so pretty much know what this is gonna be about. 
All right, let's just cover this up and let's see. He said he had something to send to me, so I'm not sure. All right, let's go at the top. I got the Astros. Um, it was a pick your team, so uh, wanted to go with them because they have a lot of autos and plus they're the hometown team. There's a Corey Lee. I don't know too much about him, uh, but those are some of the vitals. Let's look at the Nationals, Denenberg, Strasburg. This is the first time I'm holding up uh, Bowman Chrome. Got a rookie of Isan Diaz who set out this year. A Nick Niedert. There's an Alex Bregman, straight out of LSU. <laughs> And he included a Keston Hero rookie card. Oh, that's very nice. Have a few, quite a few of those. And this is one of actually one of my favorite duels. This is a uh, Yelich and Hira finest duels. I think I have that one. And he uh, had a nice uh, hater raid here. Nice uh, re prism refractor. Pretty cool. There's a Justin Smoke. Uh, no longer with the Brewers, but uh, that's that's all right. It's going to be a vintage stock, and that vintage stock is going to be 36 out of 99. So pretty cool. Wish he was still on the team, but that's all right. We've got a Chrome Keston Hero prospect card. That's from 2018, and the last card from this is going to be a Victor Mesa. So I'll put that by the Bowman Chrome. So pretty cool, uh, and we actually got an auto pulled. So here it is, fast reveal. Colin Barber, nice big autograph, and he looks like he's blowing a bubble in there. Uh, fourth rounder, you know, uh, he is a high schooler who turned pro, got okay numbers. Uh, so not bad. That's a Colin Barber. All right, and the last one is going to be with Triple B. Triple B has a nice YouTube channel. You can probably check them out uh, in the description below. And um, we just went for a trade and some uh, cast consideration. So I sent him uh, some nice cards that he will reveal uh, in his next break but um needless to say i i think i i came out pretty good and he sent a lot of cars that he really really liked uh, i paid for one of my pcs and as you guys can see um a few other brewers cards and i sent him a plethora of stuff you'll you'll see all right Actually, one of the things he sent me was something that he pulled from Select. All right, we got some post here, some letters. Okay. All right. Let's read it here. I waited this for a long time because my package was really late. And so I didn't want to open it without confirming that he had it. So it says, Robert, thank you for the trade. Hope you enjoy the card. And also included a few extras that fit in your PC better than mine. And BB, Triple B. All right, thank you, Triple B. Always nice to uh, have some nice cards and a nice letter too. Very cool, I like how he signed it. Very professional. And it's probably gonna be very different from mine. <laughs> All right. Oops. Okay. Whoops, I forgot some parts here. Yeah, always always cut around all parts, kids. 
with your craft knife here. Very well protected. I'll give him that. <laughs> And of course the bottom. Okay, that loosens it up a little bit. Okay, all right. I think he was talking about this card. It's the Keston Hero, I guess, Green Fortune Teller, number to sixty out of ninety-nine. Cool. And we've got another one in here. <laughs> I said I really didn't have any interest in this card. Don't really care for Christian Yelich's face, but it's okay because the 23 out of 25. Pretty cool number card right there. Whoops. Yelly is slipping here. And we've got uh, the main pools in here are these three cards. Awesome. So the first card is going to be a Josh Hader, very thick relic from a museum collection of last year. That is pretty cool. It's a sticker autograph, but um, those are pretty nice. What is it numbered? Is I don't know if it's numbered, but oh no, it is numbered. <laughs> Is numbered 86 out of 199. So pretty cool. I'm actually going to move your down down here. Put Josh right over there. Cool. And the next one is a Hall of Famer. Robin Yount, 20 out of 25. Bat Relic and uh, his Jersey Relic. I really like the uh, Pinstripe Blue Brewers. So, really nice card. Does fit my PC very much. Carbon Burns is going to be covered up right there. But I think the Crown Jewel is going to be, boom, this Christian Yelich. And that is his rookie card with Miami. He started out in Miami for quite a few years. And it is numbered. 73 out of 500 so that is really awesome love getting rookie cards love pulling them but i love buying them also uh so guys this is currently the end of september and we've got still our rookie giveaway and if i get <laughs> all of the 200 subscribers by the end of september i'll give away all those archives packs to a special person right before that giveaway of 200 so everybody's involved with that one uh and here are some of the cards you can win we have our dark horse rookie of the year contest make sure you add in your dark horse rookie of the year down below for the 2020 season i've seen some pretty good names jake Cronenworth uh could end up winning it he's had some great numbers so uh, let me know and seven of these cards and maybe a majority of these uh, autograph cards or relic cards could be yours. Make sure you're publicly subscribed and make sure you give me a like and share this video. Love doing these mail days, guys. Though it took a little bit longer because of all my faux pas with opening up packages. Well, guys, I had a lot of fun opening up all these packages. I just want to remind you to wash your hands, stay safe, and happy card hunting.